Welcome to the exercise science playlist. My goal with these videos is to communicate information as simply as possible. Casein casein protein is a slow digesting protein source. And of course you can get it from food that you can munch, but also from specific supplements. I have discussed it before on this channel, but I want to give updated information and also communicate a further piece of research, which I think is important. We often talk about nutrition and supplements in relation to muscle growth. But what about connective tissue, which of course is a vital part of your anatomy and especially so for dealing with those stresses of daily life, with your physical exercise and also other activities that you undertake. It has many roles such as binding, protecting, insulating, basically makalele, or the glue that holds your body together. Don't sniff it. And so cartilage is a simple example of a connective tissue, which of course connects bones and joints. Casein ingestion does not increase muscle connective tissue protein synthesis rates. Tromlin et al. And so this study looked at protein synthesis rates of connective tissue during sleep following a protocol of intaking casein protein and resistance training. And so it took a total of 36 healthy recreationally active young men and they were randomly assigned to one of three groups. You had one group who performed resistance exercise in the evening combined with the ingestion of a placebo before sleep, so only exercise. You had another group who performed resistance training in the evening combined with the ingestion of 30 grams of casein protein. And then the last group undertook no resistance exercise and the ingestion of 30 grams casein before sleep, so no exercise and protein. And there were 12 people in each group. And so in terms of the exercise, as you can see here, it involved a 60 minute lower body session involving six sets of 10 horizontal leg press machine and six sets of 10 on the leg extension machine. And so what did they find? It was the exercise with no protein and the exercise and protein groups that had the higher rate of connective tissue protein synthesis. As hypothesized, a bout of resistance exercise increased postprandial intramuscular connective tissue protein synthesis rates, and we have figure 5a here to show that. However, the protein synthesis rates between those groups were fairly similar, which is important as it leads us to think perhaps the casein protein in itself was not the driving factor for the increase in protein synthesis rates. What we can see here is that it's actually the resistance exercise which is the absolutely vital factor. In the present study, we observed that a single bout of resistance exercise increases intramuscular connective tissue protein synthesis rates during overnight recovery. Furthermore, pre-sleep casein protein ingestion did not further increase intramuscular connective tissue protein synthesis rates during post-exercise recovery. And so this is a, well, the casein protein didn't do much piece of research in relation to connective tissue but we can understand the importance of resistance training with of course developing our connective tissue. In conclusion, resistance exercise increases intramuscular connective tissue protein synthesis rates during overnight sleep with no further effect of post-exercise protein ingestion. So does that mean that we just don't take casein protein? Well, no. Next piece of research. Protein ingestion before sleep improves post-exercise overnight recovery, res et al. And so this study took 16 men and put them into two groups. One group performed resistance training, then they took post-workout protein and carbs, and then they took 40 grams casein 30 minutes before sleep. The other group performed resistance training, took their post-workout protein and carbs, but then took a placebo 30 minutes before bed. And I don't know why it's 30 minutes before bed. That is not when you eat. That's when you play Temple Run. The present study examined the effect of dietary protein ingestion immediately before sleep on dietary protein digestion and absorption kinetics and subsequent protein metabolism during overnight recovery from a single bout of resistance type exercise. The main findings are twofold. Dietary protein ingested immediately before sleep, one, is a effectively digested and absorbed, thereby increasing overnight plasma amino acid availability, and two, stimulates muscle protein synthesis rates, thereby improving overnight protein balance. And so in this study, casein protein before sleep did have a positive outcome. And we can think of that on its impact of your protein balance when you are sleeping, moving you to this net anabolic state that is the desired environment for potential muscle growth. But in addition, that type of data can be related not just to the potential for muscle growth, but also to other populations where it can be vital to preserve muscle mass, such as people with perhaps disease or perhaps an older population. Next piece of research, pre-sleep protein ingestion to improve the skeletal muscle adaptive response to exercise training. And so during sleep, we can understand that our protein balance may change because of course we are fasted when we sleep. And so we may slip into a negative protein balance. And in short, this paper found that if you're taking casein protein before sleep, it has the potential to move you from what would have been a negative protein balance to a positive protein balance, which would be a net anabolic state. I have videos explaining 
anabolism and catabolism if we visualize it it would be like this wave like structure of catabolism and anabolism over a day and we want more anabolism over a day to grow muscle and that's called a net anabolic state if you don't understand that please watch that video i've linked it below and importantly remember that you need both anabolism the building up of molecules and catabolism the breaking down of molecules to have a healthy body and so this paper takes you on a journey through this research team's research over time and also they reference other research into the topic and so they looked at a few methods of protein intake during sleep including as you sleep through a nasogastric tube that sounds fun. Clearly, these data demonstrated that the gut functions properly at night and that protein provided during sleep strongly increases overnight muscle protein synthesis rates. But it is more the pre-sleep protein feeding that is more practical for people rather than stuffing a tube up your nose when you sleep, which is where they went next. We provided subjects with either 40 grams casein protein or a placebo drink immediately prior to sleep. And these were athletes who had performed resistance training. And so what did they find? From these data, we concluded that pre-sleep protein ingestion represents an effective dietary strategy to further augment the skeletal muscle adaptive response to resistance type exercise training. And so following this, they moved on to further research. We selected healthy young men to participate in a 12 week resistance type exercise program during which they ingested either 27.5 grams of protein prior to sleep or a non-caloric placebo. Muscle mass and strength increased to a greater extent in the group that ingested protein prior to sleep. And furthermore to this, they even looked at mixing protein type, mixing casein protein with a faster digesting protein source. As pretty much all the research we have into this category looks at slow digesting protein before sleep. Therefore, pre-sleep ingestion of a mixture of a slow and more rapidly digestible protein source appears to to be effective to augment muscle mass and strength gains during a prolonged resistance type exercise program. But importantly that it remains to be established if whey is superior to casein protein when ingested prior to sleep and muscle protein synthesis rates are assessed over a more prolonged overnight period of seven and a half hours. And so there's a lot to digest there. And as with all research, you're going to find conflicting data within research papers. You're going to find, well, this showed a positive, but on the other hand, it had this negative. Or, or you may use this, but this is an evidence base to be better than this. And so when you look at information like this, it can be a bit all over the place. And so here's a simplification for you. Overnight sleep has emerged as a novel window of opportunity to modulate muscle protein metabolism. Pre-sleep protein ingestion represents an effective dietary strategy to stimulate both the acute and long-term skeletal muscle adaptive response to resistance exercise. There are numerous other potential applications of protein ingestion prior to sleep. It may enhance exercise training adaptations to other modalities. However, research on the impact of protein supplementation on other modes of exercise, such as concurrent training or endurance training, is surprisingly scarce. And so here is my practical application for you. Should you take casein protein before bed? Well, it depends on you. I want to be clear here that you do not have to take casein protein before you go to sleep or a mixture of a slower and faster digesting protein source. The most important thing is the total amount of protein you intake over a day for muscle growth. And I have a video on that, the protein hierarchy, where the overall amount of protein you take over a day is more important than the timing. So when you get any research like this, please have that information as your basis when you apply this research. Indeed, this paper acknowledges that fact. However, it has been suggested that protein supplementation increases muscle mass gains mainly as a function of increased total protein intake rather than the specific timing of a protein supplement. And so whenever you have research like this, you need to detach, you need to stay, take a step back and you need to look at the overall picture. As with all research, this is just a guideline that you have to apply to yourself and you can build muscle by just consistently focusing on your daily protein intake and your resistance training and those types of factors and you don't have to have casein protein before sleep. However, on the other hand, there is emerging evidence and I presented some of it in this video that there can be potential benefits if you do take protein before sleep. And so some of you may choose to do that and that's not insane. It has rationale, it has evidence behind it. But here is the absolutely vital thought process I want you to go through whenever you see a video like this. The question you must consider is how much of a further benefit is it for you to take casein protein before sleep? Are you just someone who's looking to build muscle recreationally? In which case, most likely, you can just focus on your daily protein intake over a day. You don't have to have protein before sleep. You may not like eating before sleep. It may not suit you. 
Are you a physique competitor where every single detail of your muscle growth is absolutely vital for your competition? In which case, these extra little details such as taking casein before bed may be something they want to implement. You have to put yourself on a spectrum of where you are with many training variables and what your goal is. As for us with everything, please make informed decisions which are guided by research, which are not set in stone, but most importantly, are individualized for your needs. I'm James Linker. This is Shredder Sports Science. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.